We're back with Joan Bennett, President and CEO of Bennett Group Strategic Communications. I read in your bio that you served in the Peace Corps in Ghana. How has that influenced your business decisions, your life in general, your philosophies? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think that was a life-changing experience for me in many ways. Um, I was there on a special two-month emergency project where we took over food and supplies. We cut down jungle and planted crops. It changed me in many ways. Um, it changed me physically. I got malaria and typhoid, so I was really skinny when I came back. That, was, that didn't last long, but that was great. Um, I think seeing so much poverty at such a young age absolutely shaped my views. It's why I decided not to have children myself in my life because of that experience at a young age. Now, I know the Peace Corps has changed a lot since I was in it, but at that time, all over Africa, you saw half-built schools, half-built roads, and it's because, you know, they, you know, jumped in there and said, we're going to help you, but they didn't listen to the local people and what they wanted. Now, again, the Peace Corps has advanced tremendously since then, but the most, my, my point is that the most important thing I learned early on about giving is that whatever I thought I was giving giving to the that community I got so much more back so you know I went over thinking I was going to save the world and of course it saved me and it made a profound impact on me at a young age and knew that that was something that I wanted to continue to be a big part of my life was giving back to others in some way only for the very selfish reasons of how much I personally get out of it why did you join the Peace Corps <coughs> instead of just starting your your career I think I've always had a, a global uh, perspective on the world. I'm fascinated by travel. I've been very lucky. I've gotten to travel a lot in my life. And I've always been interested in doing what I do, but doing it internationally. So there was that opportunity at a young age. I worked in Sydney, Australia for a year with Hill and Knowlton. Um, so I've always looked for those opportunities, I suppose. And I think at some point in my career, I'd like to go back and we work in the Peace Corps again. It was a tremendous opportunity. and. A real life-changing one. In Africa or just Peace Corps? <clears throat> oh, anywhere will do. I mean, Africa's a tremendous place. I do love it and have gone back since. But I do think that what they're trying to accomplish is a very exciting idea. It's allowing somebody like myself to maybe bring whatever skills I might have to a community that's trying to, for example, set up a radio program or help a company tell its story. And I do think that if you can, everybody should try to find an opportunity in their own career to live or work abroad for a year. It, I do think the world is made up of two kinds of people, those that have lived in another country and traveled and those that don't. And it really has opened my eyes, not only that experience, but my experience working in Australia for a year as well. So if you can, work that into your lifelong calendar somehow. Where were you born and raised? I was born in Southern California and was raised there in a small community called Temple City. Went to USC. Um, thought I was going to go into journalism, and then I think I told you really early on, made the jump over to public relations. What brought you to Hawaii? I was recruited here by a international public relations firm. They're not even in this market anymore called Hill & Knowlton. They're one of the biggest firms in the, in the world. And at the time, the um, headquarters in Hawaii was the headquarters for Asia Pacific. And as I mentioned earlier, the you know world perspective has always been of interest to me. So I jumped at the opportunity to get to work and travel in Asia. So while working for Hill and Knowlton here in Honolulu, I got to go to Singapore and Kuala Lumpur and Hong Kong. And as I mentioned, then parlayed that into working in Sydney for a year. And here I am. Hawaii has been blessed because you came over to Hawaii um, being recruited. And then, you know, you said your experience in Africa, it was kind of a pinnacle moment where you said, you know, you wanted to give back to the community. And Hawaii has gained so much by this I guess, change in attitude or perspective in life. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Thank you. You know, <laughs> I'll never forget this. The first week I arrived in Hawaii, I was recruited here by Barbara Tanabe, who's a great public relations professional. I learned an awful lot working for Barbara. She was my boss at the time. My first week in Hawaii, I was taken out to lunch by a woman named Gail Anchu. And I don't even know, I've never even told her the story. I don't even know if she remembers, but she took me out for lunch and she said, now, well, welcome to Hawaii. Now, how do you plan to give back? to the community. And I said, well, I'm still trying to figure out, find out where the dry cleaner is. I mean, I, I just got here. But it became clear to me that this is a community that deeply values giving back and participating and helping to build. It was very clear to me right from the beginning, it's not just all about making money. You have to really help make this place better. And 
I have come to cherish that about Hawaii, and I'm now proud to be a part of that network and that ohana that exists here. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.